Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Patricia. How are you? Mm, I am happy because this is the, the last class. <laughs> You're happy because it's the last class? Yes, I, I need to, to, to rest. Uh... You need to rest? Okay. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. I thought that you you were gonna be sad. That's fine. <laughs> no, I am not it's, sad. No. It's, I, uh huh. Really tired for me. Yeah, no, it's it's tiring. I know, I know, I know, cause cause you work. Yeah, I feel the same way. You know, I need to rest. I really need to rest. Yeah. Um, but all yeah, the class were were very nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you. That I really appreciate that. No. Um. Yeah, I, I understand you. Don't worry. It's just we we do need to rest, you know. Um, because yeah. it gets pretty tiring. So, how are you doing with your, you know, the problem that you had? The um, the mom. With the two babies? Ah, uh, okay. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. Uh, um, my boss uh, didn't tell me any, any, anything. And uh, um, uh, it seems like, uh, no, I don't worry. I, I don't, uh, um, be anything wrong i don't okay. i didn't do anything wrong and my work was uh, was good and uh, uh i think that um, anything else is uh, will be will be um uh, do uh, I don't know how to say. All, all is good right now. All is good. All right. Okay. Thank all you right. for answer. All right. Awesome. Awesome. I'm very glad that uh, it's working better for you. All right. Let's turn on Thank the cameras, you. guys. Uh, welcome, Rafa, Jenny, Nicole, Catherine. Welcome. Welcome aboard. How are you? How was your day? I'm fine, thank you. It, Good. The day it was very busy, but fine. All right. Okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. So um. Okay. All right. So very good. What about the rest of you guys? Well, how are you doing? How was work? Hey, we're missing Louis. Where is Louis today? Sandra. Hello. Hello. How, how was uh how was your day today? Just arriving. Just arriving. <laughs> Just arriving? <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. Because my husband and I work in in transport. So uh, sometimes I go with him. Because uh our coming people who uh, who don't speak in, in in Spanish, so I have to go with him uh, to be like an interpreter. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. that's that's pretty cool though. That's, that's really why cool. I have to go with him. Yeah, no, that's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes, right. it is. Very good, guys. So, uh, guys and girls, so we're gonna go over, guys, the last topic for today, which is gonna be mixed conditionals. Yesterday, I had to go over the explanation on on the third conditionals, right? And what do we yes. use third conditionals for? Do you um, recall? Yeah, second conditionals. No, third conditionals. What do we use them and for? Third conditional. 
Mm -hmm. So a third conditional is used to talk about impossible situations in the past, right? You can't go back in time, right? Okay. So things that you wish you could change in there that you are not able to change anymore. So I asked you yesterday, you know, um, what would you have done differently in your past, right? You could say, I would have done this because, you know, we know the structure of a third conditional. So today, guys, we're going to go over mixed conditionals, okay? So what do we use mixed conditionals for? The answer is right in front of you, okay? But uh, so what do we use them for? Hypothetical or unreal situations. Hypothetical or unreal situations, okay? Very good. So here's what we do, okay? First of all, we use the part of a what? We use the part of? Of their conditional. Of a third conditional, right? So the if clause, if the if clause will be the clause of a third conditional. And how do we start? A third conditional if clause. Come on. Come on. How do we start it? Can, can somebody give me another example? Because it says <clears throat> if a condition had existed, right? So who wants to give me another example of an if clause of a third conditional? Mm -hmm. You gave me examples yesterday, right? Remember, I told you yesterday we we're gonna we we're gonna practice. So give me the examples that you told me that you gave me yesterday. You know, one one of the examples. It's fine. So what do you think? Have I started? I'm, I'm sorry. Um, if I had learned, if I have, yeah, have learned to swim well, I would have taught to swim my daughter. Mm, I would have <clears throat> taught to swim my daughter or I would have taught my daughter to swim? My daughter to swim. Very good. Okay, very good. That's that's nice, right? So if I had plus past participles, okay? Mm -hmm. So I want you to take a look at this, okay? So what do we have here? We have the structure of a past participle. So over here, we have the structure of a past, past participle. So we're here, right? If a condition had existed, okay? So this is the, this is the if clause of a past participle, a third conditional. And then we have the structure of, what, what is that structure for? <clears throat> Is that for a second for a second, a second conditional, conditional? Right. It's a structure for a second conditional. So yeah. why are we using that in there? So remember, when we use a third conditional, the structure of the of the main clause is different. What is the structure of the main clause with the third conditional? Um, right. Using this, one of those failures. Let's do a reminder, guys. Okay, all right. No, all right. You you guys are very quiet today. Okay. Yesterday we saw this class. So okay. So <clears throat> I need you to, all right. I need you to remember the third conditional example. Okay. So let's start with people who have their cameras turned off. Okay. So let's start with Helen. Could you please be so kind to give me one of your examples in third conditionals? You can give me one from the ones you practiced yesterday. So what are some of your examples? Um, okay. Um, if I had studied harder, I would have um, 
I would have become a professional. Very good. I would have become a professional. Very good. Good job. Perfect. Professional. Great. Perfect. Thank you. That's wonderful. Really, 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 really nice job. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, okay. So I want you to remember this, guys. All right, if you didn't do it yesterday, yesterday, guys, or if you didn't come yesterday, do my favor. Please write this down, okay? Like this example. If I had studied harder, <laughs> I would have become a professional, right? We know that this part right here is what? What tense is that? What tense is that, guys and girls? Past. 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 Perfect. Perfect. No, no, perfect. Past perfect. Yes, it is past perfect. That is correct. Thank you very much. It is past perfect. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. So, keep that in mind, okay? And now take a look at this. I would have become. So, we have, all right, a past conditional. Would have, right? So, we have a past model here. And we have the past participle form. Okay, so notice that both of them will use a past participle form, okay? Yes, so, that's condition. if I had studied harder, I would have become a professional, okay? Now, uh, let's see, let's see another example. Uh, Rafa, would you please be so kind to give me another example? Or a volunteer, guys. Who wants to volunteer? Me, teacher. Go ahead. If I had been a bad student, I wouldn't have become a doctor. Bad student, I wouldn't have become a doctor. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. If I had been a bad student, I wouldn't have become a doctor. Right? Good job. So, all right. So again, I want you to remember these clauses over here. Sorry. I want you to remember these clauses, okay? Oh, no, hold on. Okay, so this clause and this clause over here. Now, remember that we can, can we, can we switch them? Can we switch them over, guys? Yes or yes, no? Yes, we can. Yes. yes, right? The only difference is that we're not going to have a comma. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have become a doctor if I had been a bad student, right? Student. So I wouldn't have become a doctor if I had been a bad student. Okay, very good. All right, please remember this part because it's going to become really important now, okay, as we, as we progress. So, oh, I forgot something. Hold on. Let's go back for a minute. So these, right, these are used to talk about regrets, you know, regrets, things that you cannot change in the past. If I had been a best student, I wouldn't have become a doctor, right? So you're talking about things in the past that began in the past and ended in the past, right? So that's... You know, what do you use a third conditional for? Okay. So what else do we use a third conditional for? What do you think? All right. So we use it to express, right, to talk about this right here. Right, we use it to talk about um, the consequence of an action in the past. Okay? okay. So, if I had been a bad student, for example, take a look at the first example, right? If I had been a bad student, so in the past, right? Si hubiera sido un mal estudiante, right? I wouldn't have become a doctor. This part right here, guys, is also in the past, not the present, not the future. This is in the past, okay? 
So this is what what is the consequence? Not becoming a good doctor, right? Yes or no, right, guys and girls? So you have the action, right? In past loss. You know, the consequence. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So the action is, the action is this, right? And then you got the consequence, which is, you know, which is gonna be this right, here. I'm sorry. Which is gonna be this right here, okay? Again, in the second example, what do you think about the second example? Where is the, where is the consequence? If I have been a bad student. Okay. If I have been a bad student, very good, right? Is that the consequence? No, the consequence is I wouldn't it's have. A, a, I wouldn't doctor. have become a doctor. Exactly right. It's just in the other position, right? So because we can interchange them, right? Very good. So again, to talk about a consequence, right? An action in the past to talk about a consequence of an action in the past. Okay, that's what we use it for. All right, but both of them are used to the past. Okay, so now, so there is a big difference between between this and uh, mixed conditionals. Okay, so if we if we're talking about the past here, what's the difference? What's what is the difference? Okay. Try to analyze this, this guys. Okay, what is the difference between this now? So when you say something like this, if a condition had existed, the result would be true. What is what do you notice that is different from the examples that we just saw? Mm -hmm. Well, that uh in this first is is in the past and maybe it have existed and the result is in the real okay in the in, in the first is the past and the second is in the present okay all right so we have the exactly right so the second one exactly so the second one is in the past i mean the, the first one is in the past and the one here is in the present, the result would be true. So we have a past condition with a present consequence, not a past consequence, got it? So basically a mixed condition like this helps you talk about a past condition that still that would have results or consequences in the present. Got it? All right. And why is it called a mixed conditional? Because we're mixing the structures of a third conditional and the structure of a second conditional. Does, does that make sense? So we're mi mixing the structure of both, both of them, right? Take a look at the example over here. Who would like to help me read? This right here. Yes, anybody, anybody? Come on, it's the last day, guys. Sir, if I had won the lottery, I would be rich. Very good, right? So I'm not saying if I had won, thank, thank you so much, uh, Patricia. If I had won the lottery, I would have been rich, right? In the past, if I say I would have been rich, that is in the past. In the past, I would have been rich, but no, right? You're talking about a hypothetical situation or a real situation 
with a condition in the past, right? That would have imaginarily an effect in the future, in, in the present, I'm sorry, all right? So basically guys, if you were to put it in Spanish, this is like saying, si hubiera ganado la lotería, sería rico. Sería rico cuando? Ahora en día o en el pasado? Oh, yeah. Ahora en día, right? Ahora, si no, yo lo eso. uso, y si, y si ahora yo lo uso en ter, third conditional, diría, si hubiera ganado la lotería, yo hubiese sido rico. Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Estoy hablando del pasado, no del presente, right? Right. So that is, so when we want to talk about the result in the present, we need to use the structure of the second conditional, okay? So far, so good? So far, so good. All right. Okay, so there is another example here, but that's, we'll, we'll talk about that, okay? Right now, guys, you know what to do real quick, okay? I want you to take a look at examples here, and I want everybody <laughs> to write down using mixed conditionals. Okay, we're going to change this a little bit, okay? Let me change these examples, all right? Because we need, these are third conditional, right? So let's give examples of mixed conditionals okay so well you give me examples guys you know you guys are the, the experts go ahead so give me give me a structure of a third conditional first what would be the structure the third conditional is the no but, but but the example the example right. ah example but of their conditionals, right? Oh uh, yeah, but I just want the, the, the if clause. If clause, of course. Yes. If I have met on my father, I will I would have gone to England. All right. If I had known if I had met my, my father. My father. Okay, I would now, have gone. Just the to, first one, just just the first clause. I'm just the first okay. Okay, now instead of saying, guys, I would have gone to India, I will say, I would go to India. All right. Now, this is for an effect in the present, right? Well, in this case, even in the possible future, right? If the condition in the, in the past had been met, right? So we have, so we have here the structure of, again, right? We have the structure of a, hold on. All right. So we have the structure of a third conditional here. All right. And then mm -hmm. we have the structure of a second conditional over here. Okay. All right. So we're going to say third conditional. And we have over here the structure of a second conditional. Okay, and it's simple as that, right? First, third, and second conditional. Okay, now you can switch them over, right? You can say, I would go to India if I had met my father, right? Just like any other conditional, you can do that. So what I want you to do, guys, is that I want you to give me, you're going to write down, Right now, guys, give me 10 examples in your notebook. I'm going to ask you for around five, but but I want you to practice this, okay? I need I need, I need, need to write down in your notebook, guys, 10 examples of mixed conditionals, okay? So remember, we use them for what? What do you use them for? Okay, third conditional and second conditional. Yeah, but what do we use, what do we use mixed conditionals for? Uh, for hypothetical situations. For hypothetical situations that started, right? That started the condition in the past, right? Yes. Very good. Okay, so let's let's go, guys. Okay, um, let's get into the breakout sessions right now, real quick. And so basically, it's going to be ten examples per couple. All right. Okay. 
All right, I'm, I'm gonna send you this image to the WhatsApp group. So let's start working guys, okay? Any questions guys, I'll be there with you, okay? There's a button for you to raise the hand, your hand uh, and I can go help you. All right, so let's go, let's go ladies and gentlemen. Oh, did I not open the, oh, yeah, I did. Let's go. Right. England. Did right. you understand? I, I would live. Eh? Live. I would yes. live. Yes, live. I will live in England. Yeah. Leave is to to like you you are leaving a room, right? Live is to stay at a place for a very long time. Yes, because uh, Yes, I will be living there with him. All right, I, very good. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I have met him, of course. Okay, um, Jenny, can you give me a, an example? Uh, if I stay, I, I if I stay in Spain, I will be greater. If I what? If I stayed in Spain, if I, I would, if I had stayed, I, uh -huh. if I had, if I stayed, had stayed in Spain, uh -huh. I will be greater. I would be what? Greater. I don't understand. What yeah, I'm not understanding that either. You would be graded. Uh, Yes. Gra graduated. No, right, graduated. Oh, graduated. Uh, no, graduated. Uh, a writer. Uh, a writer. Oh, you would be a writer. A writer. A writer. Is, is that is that a real story? Did you live in Spain? Yes, I I live in Spain two years. <laughs> oh, and what happened? Why did you come back here? Oh, oh I I I. I I come back. I need. I have to come back. Oh, you had to come back. Okay, we're good. Oh, good. That's, that's wonderful. That's nice. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. If my mother were alive, she would be happy with my my studies or my job. My job, baby. Yeah, my job. Okay. If my mother were alive, she would be happy with my job. Are you are you are you agree? Do do you agree? Do you yes. do you agree? <laughs> huh? I repeat. Could you repeat all the time, please? If if my mother were alive, she would be happy with my job. Is it correct? Yes. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Number five. If I, I have if I have studied medicine, I will be a good doctor. If I have studied study what? Medicine. Ah medicine, yes. I will be a good doctor. I will be a good doctor. Good. Really good job. Very good. Number six. That's my turn. Um, my sisters. Um, Okay. 
All right, right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Um, let's see. Number four. Okay. The making of a new one. Um, let's see. If I had um what? <laughs> If I had worked harder at my job, I would have a um, what? I would have a new position, a better position. If I had, if I had like what? Worked, if I had worked harder, okay, in my in my job, mm -hmm. I I would have a better position. Okay. All I right. have... If I have worked harder in my job, I would have a better position. That is good. All right. Very good. Okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I had. All right. How are we doing here, girls? Um, we're so doing far, far so good. <laughs> so far, is it good? Yeah. yeah. All right. How many examples do you have? Well, I have four. All right, all right, I have three of them. We'll check them during uh, with in front of everybody. Okay, right. So if you have questions, right, you can raise your virtual hand and ask for help. Okay, good job. Okay, let's check on the other guys. Thank you. Okay, Ro Roberto, I'm ready. Okay, I I have only. Three sentence. I have four. How, how are you? Okay, okay. Right. you're almost done. All right, we're gonna check them soon, guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first one is. Joaquin, how are you doing here? Everything good? Hi, teacher. I have a, <laughs> a example. If I right. had traveled around the world, I wouldn't have saved money. That is an example of a third conditional, right? And that is a good example. However, you need to say, I would, you, you would need to change the example because you need to say, I would, and then, you know, the, ba the, ba the base form of the verb, right? So for example, uh, if I had not become a doctor, I would be selling candies, got it? So it's an action that you would be doing in the present. Right, so that is different. So you, so, so the second part needs to be changed into the structure of the main clause, right? So take a look at the example that I sent you. All right, take a look at the example that I sent you, and that's you know uh, sure. that's how you have to do it. Tell me, tell me. Teacher, uh, for tell example, me. if I have, if I, if I have brought, I good and have buy anything. If I have what? I'm sorry. Brock. Broke or break, I, I wouldn't have buy anything if I have broken. I'm uh -huh, broken. Mm -hmm. uh, if I have broken, what I wouldn't have buy. No, anything. no, but if I had broken, what? What you're missing the object of this of the of the verb. I I understand uh, if he has has. He haven't any money. Yes. Oh, if if I if I had been broke, you mean if I had yeah. been broke? Been broke. Okay. It's a if I had been broke. Mm -hmm. Very good. Money. All right. Uh huh. All right, very good. The structure in this case is, is, is similar to the, the third conditional. Yes, the first part, the first part will be the third conditional part, and the second mm -hmm. part, the second clause will be will be the second conditional. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it is like that, right? So so continue. I'll help you. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay. 
Sim. If I would have a better... Uh, no, if I had. If I have a better job. No, if not, I had gotten. If I... If I gotten a better job. <clears throat> Uh, come on. I will. sorry if you are listening. My husband is singing again. Oh no no no! Never mind. Never mind. That's that's okay. that's great. If I have gotten, if I have gotten gotten a better job, I <clears throat> will have wouldn't I wouldn't I I have I would clinic. I would I wouldn't I wouldn't have the clinic. Very good. Mm -hmm. um. <clears throat> right, very good job, very good job. If my dogs have I have another example. I if I have have a study. Uh, I would be an engineer. If I had started, I would be an engineer. Very good. Okay. Yeah, right. that is that is good. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, right? Okay. I write the, 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 the same example that I gave you yesterday. If I have gotten married younger, I will have become a grandmother. I no, changed I, it. I would. In that I case, that would be become. I would become. But then I, if you, uh, yeah. But then if you say I would become, that means that you would still become, and that is not possible, right? So so the structure is good, but the idea doesn't make <laughs> sense. Uh, right? uh, yeah, but but if I if I had gotten married younger. I would become a grandmother right now. I would become a grandmother. The structure is fine, but the idea does not work like the idea that. that is does, not... Yeah, it should, it should be. I would have become a grandmother right in the past, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. Teacher, for example, if I move, if I had moved to USA, I I send much money to my family. To the USA, not to USA, to the USA. USA, ah, okay, to USA. To the to USA. That. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, if I had moved to the I, USA, I will have sent uh, much money. I would I would have sent a lot of money. Yes, a lot of money <clears throat> for my okay. family. Ah, uh, if my dogs have eaten their food, they would become more healthy. It's very good. That is a good example. All right. Very uh, good. Thank you. That is a good example. All right. <clears throat> Beautiful job. Thank you. All right, we we have to go now because I think everybody else finished. Okay. So let's go back and I want to hear your examples. Yes. All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We only have two now. Welcome, welcome back. Okay. So, um, so let's see, guys. All right, very quick. I'm going to ask for each of your examples, and I'm going to, because you need to do one more practice. 
Uh, so let's start with the first person I see that would be Sandra. Sandra, could you please share one of your examples? Okay, very good. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, if I have met my my father, I will live in England. Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you very much. That is a perfect example, right? If I had met my father, I would leave. I would live, not leave. Live. I live. Live. I will live in. Live England. in England, right? Very yes. good. Live in England. All right. Very good. Okay, uh, Rafa. What do you have, Rafa? If, okay, if I had both lottery. I would have become millionaire. If I had bought a lottery ticket. A lottery, lottery ticket. Okay. Mm -hmm. I right. would have become millionaire. Mm -mm. I would become. I would Be become. Yes. If you say I would have become, it's it's okay. But that is the structure of a third conditional. And we're talking okay. about mixed conditionals, right? Do you have another example with a mixed conditional? It's a good example because it is right, right? But but mm -hmm. it's not a mixed conditional. Let me see. Uh, if I had eaten early, I wouldn't mm -hmm. be hungry. Good job. That that one is a mixed condition. Good job. Thank you very much, Rafa. Okay. Good job. Uh, Jenny, what do we have, Jenny? Okay. If I had a lot of money, I could travel around the world. No. If I had gotten you're forgetting the past right. participle right if i had gotten or if i had earned a lot of money i would travel around the world okay very good very good right uh very good um so let's take a look at let's go with uh patricia mm -hmm. okay my example um if my dogs have eaten eating eaten their food they will become more healthy all right very good good job all right uh joaquin what do you have joaquin all right let's go with nicole what do you have nicole If we hadn't bought these unnecessary things, we would have enough money to buy a new car. Good job, right? Very good. Catherine. Um, if I had trained my dog better, she wouldn't be misbehaving. She wouldn't be misbehaving. Okay, all right. That all right, very good. Uh Helen, let's go, Helen. If I had worked harder in my job, I would be in a better position. Good job, Daniel. Okay. And um, if we have fixed the computer, we will have finished the work on time. We would have finished the work, work on time. The work on time. All right, very good. Uh, and then Helen. If I had bought a lottery ticket, I could be a millionaire. Very good. Good job. You're using could. Very good. And Roberto Donay? Uh, if Carlos hadn't been on vacations, he would be happy for the new puppy in the house. Good job. Congratulations. Okay. You got it. Now, I sent you guys some uh, questions to the WhatsApp group. Let's practice them right now. Uh, we're going to get back here, you know, to answer any final questions about the platform or whatnot and, you know, to say goodbye, all right? Maybe I'll see you next time, I don't know, right? I don't know, I, I don't think, think advanced three, three would be the the last level you're gonna see me in. Uh, and then I don't know, I honestly don't know what's next after this, all right? So, so anyways, uh, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll be there with you. So let's go practice. Let's go. Sandra. 
<laughs> this, this oh, is... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, right now I have a, a little a little problem because um, uh, someone has uh, included me in a in a chat, an international chat, and they are calling me. Oh, every every minute, every minute. Oh my God. And they are interrupting me. Okay, over here. All right, let's practice, girls. In the in the in the the first is you have been born into a high rich family. How would you like to be different now? Hmm. This is the first. What? Because you know, I I uh, um accidentally I was out of of the of the chat. Uh, but if I uh -huh. have been, if I have been born in a rich family, I I could. If I had, I could. If I had what? If I had been born in a rich family, I would I go travel around the world and I uh, and oh. But uh, uh the question is uh, the is, pronunciation. Is you have I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. The pronunciation is wood, not good, right? That would be wood, 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 wood. Yes. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, the, did you... the, the, the question is: If you have been born into a rich family, how if I you... have been born, uh -huh, into, into a rich, a rich family. How would your yes. life be different now? Uh -huh. uh, how would you be different now? What? How? Yes, how, how would you be different now? How, how mm -hmm. would you be different, different now? Okay. Mm, no. Yes. Well. If I had born with into every family, um, I would, I would be so stuck up maybe. Or, I I would be, um, kind with with people. All right, pretty nice. Yes. If the second is if the alias hadn't gone for war two. Is the aliens haven't uh -huh. gone gone war war two? If the That's aliens hadn't gone or come. Go. Go. Hadn't gone. Go. Uh -huh. go. World uh, War Two. To World War to World War Two. To War World War Two. Ah. What to, sort of war will be? The war. The war wouldn't. One. I don't know if you're correct. If the aliens hadn't gone to war to World War Two, the war wouldn't be won. No, in that case, since that already happened, you know, wouldn't have been won. Mm, uh huh. Yeah. No, no, no. But well. If, if we are are using the um, the mixed, we we don't have to use have been one. 
No, I know, I know. Yes, but uh -huh. but but then the sentence. The thing is that yeah, you can use it like that, right? But do you know what what you are trying to say? The idea you're trying to say. I mean, it's not an example because it's got to be an example, right? You yeah. need to you need to make sense of what you want to say. What idea do you want to transmit? The idea yeah. that you're trying to transmit does not make sense with us with a mixed mm -hmm. conditional. Yes, that should only be used with a third conditional. Mm, yes, 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 right. you're right. So, so yeah, the word wouldn't have been worn. Exactly, because the, the that word that you're talking, the, the word you're talking about, you know, it already happened. Yes. Yes. Right, very good. I'm going to check with the other guys, so let's. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, as presented by a series called A Man in the Castle. Un hombre, el hombre del castillo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that city they presented where Germany won and together with Japan, oh. uh, they dominate part of America. But the, the education, the culture, and other things are part of Saida perfection, famous perfection about the. the the race, a uh, aerial race. Oh, okay. Maybe we we wouldn't um be born, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe we wouldn't have been born. Yeah, maybe even El Salvador. <laughs> maybe we wouldn't have been born in El Salvador. Yes. Yeah, because Abel was like an ally, right, to the U.S. Mm, an ally? I don't think so, but I uh, I knew that the Salvador uh, was like an alias. But anything, you know, because I was like really scared about that. But now no, it's even, like kind of different. And even though when I. Uh, went out with my 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 friends. I usually don't go with someone that is not living in Soyapango, because even when they uh offer me to uh bring me to my home, I said no. I mean, you're gonna get back alone. So I prefer that you stay where you are, and I will find a way to get my home. Or I prefer to go out early. But yeah. now I I can say yeah, you can pick up for me, or you can uh, get me home. Because it's different now. I yeah, regard... that's really nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. What, is, guess... what are you talking about? What's going on in Suyapango? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, we're talking about the question number three about the country leader. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Got you. Yeah. Got you. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So continue. Continue. So, anyways, um. So so how 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 did did you learn anything? You know, did you did you feel that uh, you learned anything in this level? Yeah, actually, about the conditionals, I have learned a lot. I didn't remember about this topic, and I have studied English many times. <laughs> oh, okay. Where where did you study English before? Well, I studied at my school and then I studied English as well at Eat Cafe Padre for a couple of years. At Itke? Okay. Yeah. All right. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. So anyways, it's good to hear that. Um continue. continue. All right, we're, we 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 must um teacher we'll always, tell me, tell me. Did you work at Concentric? Yes, yes, why? What happened? <laughs> I think your face is familiar for me, but I don't really remember. I worked you... I worked I worked there twice, once in once in um 2014 and the other time in since 2016 until 2018 or like the beginning of 2019, I guess. And you were on AT&T. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you were on that hill. <laughs> I, I I was I, I, I was I was I was yeah I was, you know when it started I was uh I became a sales coach. 
uh, back in AT and T Mobility, and then and then uh, they got rid of AT and T Mobility, and they started uh, they they switched everything over to to uh, AT and T ISM. I think it was it was called. It's for Direct TV. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So were you there? Did you work there at that time? I wear mobility. I wore on that hail. Then you... I was moved to oh, no. direct TV. <laughs> but but mobility, hold on, listen. Mobility, mobility was not there anymore when I left. I started with mobility and then oh, yeah. they left. Uh -huh. Wow. They left. So, so so how they long left, did you... And we moved to ISM. But then mobility get back, but I'm not in mobility anymore because I hate that place a lot. Okay, oh, give me. <laughs> I hate that, it. But 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 that, was that in 2016 or something or like? It was like in 2007. 2007. Yes. Yeah, I was moved because I was in Bell, Canada, no, you mean Bell, Canada, and I was you moved mean, to mobility. You mean 2017? Oh yeah, see, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. 2017. Yeah, yes, it was. So yeah, if, if it was in 2017. Yeah, you probably mm -hmm. saw me. Yes, I was there. So, so yeah, hey, that's cool. I honestly don't remember you. No, that's okay. But I mean, I it was familiar for me. Not like I talked to you once because I don't remember that. But okay. I can figure out your face. It was like I met him, but I don't know where. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. So well, I work at Concentrix as well. <laughs> you work there? Oh, yeah yeah oh nice nice that's, that's awesome you know like family getting together here <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i haven't been in that, in that kind of accounts i i've just heard so many bad things about that no thanks <laughs> no that's, yeah. that's 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 great if you if you worked uh if we worked for if you worked for direct tv yeah i, I had a, i had a girlfriend in direct tv back in the day but that was in 2018, not not 17. Um, so I don't know if I ever went there. You know, well, you were there. Were you there in 2018, Catherine? Yes. All right, and you were already in Direct TV. Yes. All right. So right. Well, anyways, that that's good. You know, we always find people here <laughs> and uh, <laughs> from from those places. You know, if you worked at a call yeah. center. You're gonna find them everywhere. <laughs> it's good seeing you, right? Let's go back. Let's go back. All right. Let's go back now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. All right. Um, guys, um, I wish we had more time to say, you know, goodbye and everything. But I have another class. I'll send you a message, guys, on WhatsApp. It's been really nice being with you guys. I hope to see you around. If you need anything, please let me know, right? Send me a message, guys, or what, what, whatever, you know. Um, we're very glad, guys, to have been with this class. You have been amazing to me. And I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, guys, and enjoy, you know, the rest of whatever classes you got again. Oh, my ahead, God. Right? Thank, nice you, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.